Have you ever wondered what the future holds for the world? Given how quickly humans are creating new technologies, it is conceivable that in 20 or 30 years our world will be very different from what it is today. In today's video, we'll go further into some of the innovative technology that is predicted to be released in the upcoming decades and perhaps get a peek of what the world might be like in 2050. Please hit the like button and subscribe buttons before we begin if you want to see more fantastic films like this. Start with space tours and travel, which are undoubtedly at the top of everyone's future bucket list. Ever consider what it might be like to journey into space? Well, it might be feasible in 2050. Business Insider claims that with rocket businesses like Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, space tourism may have already begun to be made accessible to the general public by then. What a wonderful idea that is! In the future, booking a space vacation will be as simple as purchasing an airline ticket, so you won't have to spend your entire life training to be an astronaut. If you want to fly into space, you best start saving now because it will probably cost a fortune for one of those interplanetary seats and will only be accessible to the really wealthy. The prospect of colonizing distant planets is also a possibility. For instance, Elon Musk is working on a project that might lead to the first human habitation starting in the following 10 years. We would probably need to create small, enclosed ecosystems that can produce oxygen for us to breathe because Mars has a very cold climate and no oxygen, even if it would be a very long time before it becomes habitable for the majority of people. However, the idea that we might be the first generation of human space travelers is still very intriguing. Advanced drones are most likely the next thing we will have in the future. Just take a look at Amazon and Jubilant Foodworks, which already distribute pizza and products using drones. With drones being purchased and deployed for surveillance and mapping, it won't be long until they begin to replace our local delivery drivers. This characteristic has been fully exploited by the business Incanova, which has begun work on developing drones that can fly, drive, climb, and even utilize laser technology to scan locations and produce a 3D map of them. In the future, these highly developed drones will be very helpful for mapping underground mines and other inaccessible areas. Additionally, there will be many new energy sources available to us. Solar energy has established itself as a superior energy source. Naturally, given that humans have quick access to sunlight. However, can you fathom the advantages that solar energy in space could have? It is possible to construct satellites or orbital solar power plants that can transmit solar energy to Earth using a very large antenna through microwave or laser. The necessity for outdated, dirty energy sources like diesel or gasoline might then be eliminated thanks to that energy. Due to its constant exposure to the sun, a solar power plant installed in orbit would not be impacted by the day and night cycle, the seasons, or the weather. However, this concept isn't really brand new. Although it has been around since 1968, construction prices are out of control because they couldn't be done then due to a lack of technology. Ocean thermal energy is a different type of energy that is still relatively unexplored despite being one of the largest renewable energy sources in the planet. It aggravates me to even say this, yet there is water everywhere. But that does not imply that businesses are not making use of it. The brainiacs at Blue Rise are converting ocean thermal energy into utility-scale electricity. Once they make a breakthrough, it will be able to outperform conventional energy sources like fossil fuels and other renewables that need grid stabilization and storage. Its key benefit is that it is one of the few year-round sources of steady energy. We will also make significant strides in the area of neuroprosthetics. Have you ever considered utilizing your mind to operate a computer? How about managing your the ascending brainwaves around the house? This can happen, even though it can take years. The first neuroprosthetics are indeed already available. It includes cochlear implants and retinal implants that the FDA previously authorized in 2013. Furthermore, implants exist. 
For those who have Parkinson's disease, which can transmit electrical pulses deep inside the brain and activate parts of the movement control neural circuits. For patients who are paralyzed as a result of spinal cord damage or other neurological problems, brain implant therapies are also occasionally used. These brain implants read electrical impulses from the brain and translate them using a computer to partially restore movement and communication. But when combined with an exoskeleton, it gives the paralyzed real hope. The 30-year-old crippled man Tebow even made headlines when he used an exoskeleton that can read brainwaves to move all of his limbs. Isn't that fantastic? In addition to neuroprosthetics, we will likely create hardware implants. You'll have a general understanding of what we're talking about if you've played cyberpunk for a while. Real-life cyborgs are already well known and include the following, those who use hearing aids with artificial intelligence, these humans are technically cyborgs, and in a short while, they might be present all around us. The cyborg movement, where people implant electronics and technology into their body to look cool, may be started by a new generation of humans. A little bit better than getting a tattoo or a piercing, yes? However, it's not merely a bad thing. By applying this in the medical field, physical disabilities like vision issues can be fixed. However, it may also open the door to superhuman abilities like eagle-like vision and other abilities. Additionally, there is great hope for those who have lost limbs in accidents. You can expect that within the next several decades, human-like prosthetics that are integrated with your body will be developed, as there are now a number of robotic prosthetics on the market. Our medical knowledge will also significantly advance. There are several groundbreaking discoveries. However, let's start with the suggestion that we've been hoping would become a reality. Ideas to enhance medical procedures. We are optimistic that researchers will be able to realize the idea behind the Star Trek medical tricorder. Can you picture having a device that, after a single scan, can instantly provide you with the patient's vital signs and a diagnosis? The Biotom CheckMe Pro is the one that comes closest to a medical tricorder. This gadget can track sleep patterns and measures your body temperature in addition to your pulse rate and rhythm, systolic blood pressure, oxygen saturation, and physical activity. Patients will take control of the point of care by keeping track of their own health instead of waiting idly for the results of medical experts. It's undoubtedly a useful tool to have. Targeted therapies and nanotechnology are also important. In the near future, nanoparticles and nanodevices will be used as microscopic surgeons, precise medication delivery systems, and cancer therapy instruments. In an effort to make this a reality, Max Planck Institute researchers have been experimenting with these tiny robots that can float in bodily fluids. Similar to the Amazon delivery person but much, much smaller, these microbots can be utilized to administer medications in a highly focused manner. These delivery robots are made to move in and around non-Newtonian fluids, such as your blood, lymphatic system, or the slick fluid on the surface of your eyelids. The creation of digestibles may be our one-way ticket to the fascinating realm of nanodevices, even though we are not there yet. These tiny pills can be used in conjunction with a sensor to monitor the absorption and digestion of medications. The FDA had previously released the first medication product containing a digestible sensor by that time, which was in 2015. A sensor that may be swallowed was developed by Proteus Digital Health and the Japanese pharmaceutical company Otsuka in conjunction with a medication for mental disorder. When the medication is taken, the tiny sensor, with the patient's consent, can interact with a wearable sensor patch, and the information is subsequently sent to the patient's or caregiver's smartphone or tablet. Really practical, no? Another exciting development is that, by 2050, most people will probably be using driverless automobiles. Will the public transit system fly? Who knows, but in 2050, this might be a fact. AAVs, or autonomous aerial vehicles, have already completed successful demonstration flights. AAVs, or autonomous aerial vehicles, are drones that can carry passengers. The majority of these flying vehicle types operate without runways using vertical takeoff and landing through horizontal rotors. AAVs are very different from drones, despite their similarities. AAVs are designed so that commuters can board and fly directly to their destinations without abusing clogged roads. AAVs are something to look forward to if you detest traffic and lengthy commutes. 
The Hang 184 is a concept for the first air taxi in history, and it will make its debut in Qatar in 2022 during the FIFA World Cup. The latest AAV design is a 5G-connected urban air mobility vehicle that is managed by a smart city command center. But what if you dislike using public transportation? In fact, Uber is testing a brand new flying taxi that will soon be available. By 2023, these tiny, helicopter-like taxis might be available in your area, and you could order one just like you would an Uber today. The drawback is that there won't be a driver for you to inquire about their workload. The creation of hoverbikes is another automotive improvement that may occur. Though perhaps not quite as extreme as those in the Filmtron, you get the idea. Have you ever considered the concept of hoverbikes after seeing hoverboards? Hoverbikes work similarly to an AAV in that they employ a VTOL platform. Instead of being unmanned, the vehicle is driven and operated by a person. The style is similar to the typical a one-person, four-rotor motorcycle that is ideal for single people like you and me. The goal of hoverbikes, like that of AAVs, is to offer a mode of transportation that lessens street traffic for short distances. The S3 2019 Hoverbike, a one-piece carbon fiber frame that runs on batteries and has a top speed of 96 km per hour at an altitude of 33 feet, was created by a Russian business by the name of Hoversurf. However, commuters won't be able to purchase the Hoverbike anytime soon at a cost of $150,000 per bike. Looks like our only option right now is crammed buses. It's all done now. In the coming years, there will be a lot of groundbreaking technology, and we're fortunate to live in a period when we have the resources and the brainpower to make things a reality. What technologies do you anticipate in 2050? Do you think I missed any? Tell us in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please subscribe to our channel and enable the bell button to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. Thank you for viewing, and I'll see you in the future video.